Hey guys, the counterpuster shop here and today it will be a simple video but we need to show you some of the progress and nice feature we will have on the build like the 13.6 inch mono LCD screen 7K. Shut up and take my money! We need to machine the middle plate using our CNC router. We would have liked to cut it in HDPE but we don't have enough material right now so we use MDF instead. It's cheap and can be sealed later. We designed the plate to have simple cuts so that everybody can cut it using common tools like a jigsaw. A plastic version will be available to purchase when the project is out. Now all we need to print is a simple part on the printer that will be the insert frame for the glass and LCD. So the idea of the 3D printed insert is to be able to have a raised LCD that will touch the FEP sheet just right. The printer is modular, so you can choose any LCD you want, but not every model will have the same thickness. On the representation here, you have the VAT, the metal plate that we cut in MDF, the 3D printed insert frame, and the screws. In green, the spring. In our case, we use thick foam tape that hack like spring materials. Finally, the glass and LCD with the FAP sheet on top. When you tie the screws, what happens is everything raised at the same time. You can level perfectly the LCD and put it at the right height. The spring will keep everything in place. Three millimeter glass is used to support the LCD. But we have found during the test that 5 or 7 mm will be better. Like we mentioned, we used foam tape to act like a spring, but real springs can be used too. Since the time of filming, we've already made another version of the insert that will hopefully be better. Using the pre-drilled hose, we can now install the brackets for the vat. Before tightening the screw, we can align everything for a perfect fit. If you haven't seen the video of our vat design, go ahead and watch it on our channel.
Now we can install the middle plate into the frame, but not with the screws yet because it will make it easier later to work in the electronic compartment. Alright, so the satisfying part is done. So you have seen me cleaning everything before as installing the LCD. Because, you know, you don't really want to have like fingerprints or dust on your glass or LCD. Nice thing to know with these screens uh, is they already come with a protective film on top. Because you really don't want to mess with uh, your new $500 LCD. <laughs> Here in Canada, hockey is very popular, so we have what they call hockey tape everywhere. This product is awesome for sleeving cables and stuff like that. We like to use it around the LCD because it's a pretty opaque material. It sticks well to surfaces and it does a clean and nice job. We know that 3M sells similar stuff but 50 times the price. For this purpose, it does the job perfectly. We've seen people use electrical tape, but this kind of stuff is banned from our workshop. It's ugly, doesn't stick well, and it leaves gunk everywhere after no time and slight heat. Now, the only thing we need to install is the inductive probe. Some people like the photosensor more because they are more precise. But with our early testing on the prototype, we never had issue with it. So we stick with the inductive probe. Uh, note that the Prometheus control board will support any kind of limit switches uh, that you want to install. So it's pretty much it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of this project and other cool stuff. Uh, we have a Discord server for the Prometheus that you can uh, talk with us and others. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and be ready for the official release of this machine very soon. Bye!